Good morning to everybody. In this video, I will discuss about how to configure inter-VLAN routing and IPNAT on the Cisco router. I am, by the way, I am Anthony De Los Santos. I am a network engineer. Um, in this video, I will show you how to simulate to configure the inter-VLAN routing and IPNAT for the internet router. This is the topology that we will be used. So uh, this is enterprise level of topology. So we have a core switch. All the switches are connected to the core switch by a trunk. And then the interface VLAN will be configured on the core switch. Each uh, uh, switches has two VLAN. VLAN for the data, data VLAN and switch management VLAN. And then uh, each switch, uh, I will be assigned a subnet for the uh, data VLAN and also on the internet router we will configure the IP net so that we will be give access to the uh, host and internet so it is will it is connected by uh, my internet router in the house I will be using EVNG to simulate the configuration so let's jump to the configuration so here as you can see, uh, this is the EVNG. I already set up the, the topology, but all of the switches are, uh, are empty. There is no configuration at all. So I used for the router, I use the Cisco, this one, uh, Cisco. Uh, where is that one? this one Cisco by Bayes uh, router so this is the one I'm used for the internet router and for the switches and core switch I'm using this IOL Cisco IOL so when you click this you can choose the layer 3 or layer 2 kind of switches okay router switches something like this okay so I already created for the core and the switches so to start with this FNG <coughs> you have to double click the and then start okay we will configure first the core switch then double click we will see the CLI here so as you can see it's empty I will maximize the screen so we will configure first this Core switches, okay. Uh, I will maximize so that we'll see that it is so okay. First, we'll do it past. So just pause the video if you are if you find my configuration past. Okay. First, we'll do the the host name. Okay. Config T host name core. Okay. After that we will configure the interface uh, the the VLANs. Okay. VLAN 10. Okay. Name server farm. VLAN 20. Name marketing. VLAN 30 name IT department then VLAN 40 name finance VLAN 200 name switch MGT switch management main VLAN okay okay after that we already created the VLAN okay uh, show VLAN okay it's already there show running okay now we will create the
Okay. We'll create, we'll configure the interface VLAN. Okay. So, interface VLAN, config T. Interface VLAN 10. IP address 10.10.10.1 10 10 255.0 Description mm, Server Okay Then no shot The next Interface VLAN 20 IP address 10.10.20.1 10 0 description marketing then interface VLAN 30 name na uh, IP address 10.10.30.1 10 0 okay description IT department so 30 then we will do the finance interface VLAN 40 IP address 10.10.40.1 10 255.255.0 description description is finance uh, exit then interface VLAN 200 uh, IP address One ten dot ten dot two hundred dot one description switch MGT um, management. Okay, we're done. So we'll show running config. So as you can see, we created interface VLAN ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Okay. And 200 but some of them are shut down okay config t interface vlan 10 uh, no shot then vlan 20 no shot vlan 30 no shot vlan 40 no shot vlan 200 no shot so now we'll try again show running config so as you can see all the interface vlan we'll maximize it all the interface vlan one two three uh, ten interface vlan then 20 30 40 uh, why is there Give me a minute. Okay, 200. So this is complete. Okay, next, we finish already the interface VLAN. What we will do next is <coughs> we will configure the trunk port. Okay, so number one, so config T. So we'll do first this Ethernet 0 slash 0. Config the Ethernet zero slash zero interface well, interface Ethernet zero slash zero switch port ah switch port mode 
dong switch port dong trunk encapsulation that one q switch mode dong allowed vlan 10 and 200 Sure, I can config. We'll see. Trunk step invasion. Okay. Config the interface Ethernet. Zero slash zero. No shot. And then switch mode trunk so this is the configuration so now we will configure the trunk going to marketing okay config the interface Ethernet CS plus two switch for tongue encapsulation that one key switch mode tongue mode switch mode mode tongue switch mode tongue allowed VLAN uh, 20 and 200 no shot so next we will configure the ethernet series last three config the interface ethernet series last three sys mode encapsulate mode trunk sys mode trunk encapsulation that one q sys mode trunk allowed vlan 30 and 200 mode trunk mode trunk and then the next is for the finance config the interface uh, interface gig ethernet cos plus one switch for tongue encapsulation that one q switch for mode tongue switch mode tongue allowed vlan uh, 40 and 200 then we will say show run and config As you can see oh trunk 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 so we are good to go now we will configure the internet uh, port going to the router which is uh, what's this one ethernet 1 slash 0 okay config the ethernet interface ethernet uh, 1 slash 0 no switch port IP address 192.168.1.2 ok we're done no shot so um, what else we'll configure on the switch we'll configure the the clock config t clock ksa cr3 
back case a case a twist less zero clock time zone case a twist zero and then we will configure also the IP name server for config the IP name server 8.8.8 .8 which is the Google for the DNS and then IP name server we will put also our router 192.168.100.1 the router in my home and then we need to configure the we'll configure the route so we'll configure any packet going to the internet will be going to 192.168.1.1 so IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. So, is is 192.168.1.1 what else we will configure the SSH um, IP domain name IP domain IP domain name my net security that one IP SSH version 2 and then crypto key generate RSA so 124 and then username Cisco privilege 15 secret Cisco okay and then line B TY will apply the SSH to the BTY port session timeout 5 uh, exec this timeout 5 here and then privilege 15 level 15 logging synchronous login local transport input I will put all or I will put this it's better okay then let's get show running config I think we're good to go I will just maximize I'll show you show running config okay Okay, everything looks good. Okay, we will save. Right, okay, we're done at core switch. Now we will configure the uh, IT department switch. Okay, IT department switch. We will configure the IT switch. So we'll right click and then start and then I'll make it bigger so that the cell I will be big. Okay. I will put it one here. Okay. So now as you can see this is one is empty show you can see a n show running config so everything is empty so we'll configure it now okay number one <coughs> config t then host name it dep sw okay and then 
we need to configure the trunk Conf uh, the wheel will create a villain villain 30 name it Dip. no shit. And then we'll create Milan 200 for the switch SW MGT MGT Dylan name Switz MGT okay now we have two VLAN show VLAN so this one two VLANs okay now we'll configure the tongue port which is this one Ethernet zeros plus one on the I need this one sorry Ethernet zero to three config config t Ethernet zero plus three switch port Ethernet interface or oh. Ethernet zero plus three switch uh, switch port trunk encapsulation that one Q Switch port mode trunk. Switch mode trunk. Allowed VLAN 30 and 200. After that, <coughs> we will configure the access switch access port for the computer. So, which is port number E02 and E01. Okay, easy to and zero one. Uh, interface Ethernet zero slash one. Switch word mode access. Switch word access VLAN thirty. Okay, and then no shot. Then so zero switch port mode access thirty no shot so we're good to go we'll open the PC uh, start start show running config uh, show running config So everything is fine. So in this <coughs> ping ten the ten the two hundred that one. So I think I need a I we need a IP route config T. IP route usually in some model new model of switch you just use IP default gateway but for this model of uh, iOS I think it doesn't work I tried it before so I will use route instead 0.0.0.0 we'll go to the default gateway uh, of the switch management port 200.1 okay IP routing I will troubleshoot first show running everything is fine access port is ok show IP interface brick up everything is up config the IP Routing, I'll just enable it. P 
shipping. Then that, then that one, do that one. <laughs> Doesn't work. Ah, we have another one. We need to configure the configure the management VLAN. Okay, interface. Interface VLAN 200. IP address 10.10.200.255 10 So no shot So now we'll try to ping Ping again So now we can communicate with the core switch Now we'll check if the PC can communicate now to The core switch So we'll double click this We'll put it here. We have two PC, okay, from the IT. We'll just log in. I already put the static IP on this PC. Test. Okay. Here you can ping CMD. Ping 10.10.200.1. Ten ten mm hmm. Thirty that thing that thirty that one. So do let's double check if the PC is properly configured. So correct. Check the firewall. Uh -huh. Firewall. Firewall. Mm -hmm. Firewall. Everything is fine, but I cannot ping. So let's see the configuration of Ethernet CS Plus One on the IT suites. Show running config. Ethernet CS Plus One. Config T. Ethernet CS Plus One. Interface Ethernet CS plus one CS plus zero ah CS plus one no shot CS zero mm. let's ping the PC ping the ten that that 30.3 switchable now we'll see the PC pin can ping why oh, cannot ping why oh, it cannot ping I to the third we'll maximize this ping 10.10 10 we'll, we'll ping the gateway okay gateway is okay the interface VLAN gateway how about the 200 that one? so okay I can reach both of the uh, switch management IP of the core switch and the interface VLAN of the for this one I have an issue with this with this PC I think the problem is that it's not the so I will troubleshoot it later the good thing is this PC can communicate can ping the, the switch and can ping the uh, the core switch okay we'll we will continue on the next part because it's already 30 minutes so I will uh, end this video right now and then I will continue to configure the remaining switches on the next video